Hey guys, welcome back. So today I got a very special episode for you because today I'm going to be doing something different, which is unboxing some Back to the Future props. Now, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of a bunch of other franchises, not just Star Wars, even though this is mostly a Star Wars channel. Um, but I ended up ordering this box right here, and it's the Dr. Collector's Back to the Future uh, Time Travel Memories. And I've never heard of Dr. Collector, but it's an official licensed product, you know, um, put out essentially by Universal Studios. And it comes with a bunch of prop replicas from the movies. Now, it comes from some stuff from part one, part two, and part three. And I know there's two versions of these out there. There's um, this one, which is the plutonium edition. There's also another version that comes with a replica of the DeLorean key, which is kind of cool. So. Uh, today, let's open it up. It comes with like, I think over 50 items, I think it says. So I can't wait to see what's inside there. As you can tell, I'm a fan of all franchises, you know, all the geeky franchises, but Back to the Future is definitely by far, probably next to Star Wars, my favorite. Um, you can see behind me, I have the Matty Collector hoverboard, the Diamond Select Mr. Fusion, and the flex capacitor. Uh, plus I have a bunch of other production pieces from the film, but today we're just gonna focus on this. Let's take a look at it. All right, so here's the box. And the cool thing about this, I don't know if you can see, but the little lights, they're kind of, they're definitely not lit up, uh, but when you move them, you know, it gives it the appearance that they're lighting up. So it's a tin box, pretty cool, super decorative. And as you can see there, it's gonna have pretty much um, a bunch of other props from the movies. And like I said, it's a officially licensed product. Now, before I took the wrapper off, um, it did come with this little back sleeve. And it kind of gives you a, a heads up of what's going to be in it. But I don't want to show you because let's make it a surprise. So let's take a look at it. So right off the bat, I could see it comes with this little foam. Um, it's probably the thing to hold the plutonium, which is kind of the first thing I see here. So let's just pull that out here. So it looks like it comes with the replica of the little plutonium that that they use in, in the first movie. And looks like it's just pretty much acrylic. It's like a solid piece of acrylic, but it's pretty cool looking. Um, I'm assuming that's what it's for, the little stand, but can't be too sure. But here's that. So it comes with a plat, I mean with the license plate from the first one. And the cool thing is, look at it, it's all weathered up. I really like that. I like the fact that they weathered it up. Just because I have another one that's also an officially licensed product from Universal Studios. But it was super clean and I don't know, it just didn't didn't give off the vibe that it was a real product. So super cool. I'm really excited for that piece. It has the license plate from part two, as you can see there. You can see a reflection. Obviously, it's highly reflective. And also, licensed product. So, I'll put that right there. It also comes with this cool little bag, right? It's from the second movie. Uh, it has the Blast from the Past bag. Let's see what's inside. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's let's kind of start with this. All right, so it looks like it has. I'm struggling here. I'm gonna try to do this all in one shot, so I don't want to edit this too much. This is really cool. So it's the receipt that Marty gets when he buys the almanac, and you can see there as the Gray's Almanac, 1950 to 2000. So that's really cool. Has a little Mr. Fusion stick, uh, little sticker, little decal. Really cool. Um, it has these little 
these little like coasters from from the cafe 80s or I guess it looks like it's just one coaster but that's pretty cool it's kind of breaks apart when you when you move it cool little prop there has a little advertisement and it's kind of cool because it looks like it's ripped right out of a magazine so it's a little advertisement for the hoverboard as you can see there and then the pit bull and all the other ones in the back that's pretty cool I've never seen that let's see what else we got in here um, okay it comes with one of these little it's like a postcard showing kind of all the, the spots in Hill Valley I guess um, number one I don't know if I can zoom in here so just the courthouse and all that and it's just and I, I don't remember what these are called like lent, lent, lenticles I forgot what what they're called but very very much 80s uh, looks like it got a cafe 80s little menu or a little um, a little setting right a little plate setting thing that's pretty cool. Never seen that before. All right, what else is here? Okay, it's a replica of the the facts, right? That Marty gets in part two. The you're fired. I'm fired. All right, let's see what's next. Ooh, that's cool. Comes with a little. I don't know if you guys could see that. But Marty's brothers, brother and sister kind of start disappearing as you move it along. That's super cool. And then, uh, Dear Dave and Linda, if you're reading this, probably because I haven't been home in a while. Don't worry, just because I'm not here doesn't mean that. Um, so I guess this is a letter from Marty. I don't remember that. Do you guys remember that? Maybe it's, let me see. Six feet. Oh, maybe it's the letter saying that he was going to take a trip with, um, that's interesting. I, I don't remember this from the movie. I guess I'm going to have to rewatch it. Uh, but it's a letter from Marty to his brother and his sister. So maybe you guys could leave in the comments what part that is in, because I don't remember that. So, okay. Now there's a little baggie with stuff from the first movie. So let me open this up really quick. It's kind of stuck on there and it has a little the bag is from the Twin Pines Mall so that's pretty cool and 1985 so this is the 1985 packet so let's see what what's in here so let's see it comes with re-elect Mayor Goldie Wilson that's pretty cool little button has the save the clock tower button that is really cool all right, there's that. There's a little casino chip from uh, Biff's Casino. That's pretty cool. Oops, there goes that. I'll get that in a little bit. Has a little Art and Revolution. I think this is the, the button that he has on his jacket, right? Uh, yeah, I have to remember where this one comes from. And there's a little coin. Oh, it's some, uh, another little chip from from Biff's Pleasure Palace. All right, this is cool. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, I'm just gonna do it piece by piece. So a little Save the Clock Tower flyer. That's pretty cool. Oh, and it even has Jennifer's little sign, or the her phone number and her signature on there. That's really cool. And I, I really like the fact, I think the fact that these come from Universal, obviously they have the original ones where they could either make copies or, or at least use them as references. Although that looks pretty, pretty spot on. So it might be a direct copy of the, the screen used one. Anyway, so here's the little chip I dropped. Pretty cool. All right, here's the little absence, a little slip. You slacker. You gonna be a slacker like your like your father or something like that, right? Where he tells uh, Strickland tells him that. That's really cool, and it's actually very like thin, you know, paper. So it really feels like a like one of those little slips. Got Doctor Brown's business card. 
that's pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that in the movie, but I'm sure there is. <laughs> it's a little bookmark from uh, George McFly's book. That's pretty cool. Alright, here's the letter. Did not open until 1985. Well, let's open it. <laughs> Alright, so here's the letter. And here it is. Dear Dr. Brown, on the night that I go back in time at 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m., you will be shot by terrorists. Please take whatever precautions that are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. Your friend Marty. Sorry, I forgot to show you guys the whole letter. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what else. Got another little map of Hill Valley, I guess the downtown area. That's kind of, it's very similar to, to the one that, the like holographic one, except this one looks like it's from the 80s. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what's in here. Hill Valley, oh, 1955. So this is the 1955 packet. Oh, so cool. All right, so let's see piece by piece what's in here. Oh, this is so cool. So this is the, the picture of them from, from their prom. That's really cool. Little wallet size picture. The enchantment under the sea dance flyer. That is really cool. What else we got in here? Oh, a visitor's guide. So I guess there's a guide for each each time, and I'm sure with a map. Oh, that's funny. That's really cool. So yeah, I mean, I don't obviously some of these aren't aren't um, in the movie, right? I think they're just adding them in there as kind of references, maybe. Although maybe there's like Lou's Cafe. Maybe that's what the the menu looked like in the movie. If you look close. And then obviously, that's so cool. The picture of the flux capacitor. That is really cool. There's that. All right. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at there. So, see if I can zoom in there. So, this is a numbered edition. Looks like they only made 6,000 of these boxes. This one's. Uh, 5,601. All right, let's look into the third one. And the first thing is, oh, that's so cool. The tombstone, and obviously it disappears when you start moving it. That's super cool. Oh, I'm going to save that one for last because I'm going to show you guys something cool. Okay, here's the map of Hill Valley. Pretty cool. A little reward wanted poster. Mad Dog Dannon. That's pretty cool. And then here we have this. And this is... Pretty large. Oh, it's the map. Okay, I thought it was going to be the the schematics, which I actually have a production made piece of that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh man, now I'm going to have to frame this next to the to my production one. That is so cool. The map. Oh man. That is so cool. So that looks like that's it, guys. Um, yeah, this is such a cool little box. Um, it's not super expensive if you can, you know, obviously find it from the right place and shipping and everything. Um, I ended up getting this one after shipping. It was about $200, but I think it's well worth it. Um, I mean, just the license plates alone, you know what I mean? For good replicas, they're going to run you, you know, 30, 40 bucks. So even just the license plates alone are kind of paying itself um, off for at least half of it. And then, 
you know, obviously the, the little bag and the receipt. I mean, this receipt is so cool. This is, this is probably one of my favorite things in here. I mean, besides the license plates, um, there's that. I really want to look into this one. I want to see, I think Marty, it's one of the ones that Marty might have on his jean jacket, but I have to kind of double check the movie and, and see that. Um, yeah, so obviously the plutonium is super cool. So I'm going to display it next to my um, my flux capacitor and Mr. Fusion. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Well, there it is, guys. That's everything that comes in here. Like I said, if you're a Back to the Future fan and a collector, definitely recommend picking one of these up. And now I'm going to show you what... I uh, am going to display the map next to you because I actually have a production used um, schematic of the flux capacitor and all that. So let me show you that. Cool. So here is a, uh, not screen used, but it's definitely a production piece. Um, I got this at an auction and it is one of the ones that they made for the film. So super cool. I'll probably end up framing that that map next to this. I think it's definitely going to be a, a nice complimentary piece. Well, there it is, guys. That's everything that came in it. Thank you again for watching this. I know it's not Star Wars related, but again, I, I'm pretty sure that if you're a Star Wars fan, you're more than likely going to be a Back to the Future fan as well. But I promise you, there's a lot more Star Wars content coming soon. So make sure you subscribe like, comment, and uh, make sure to catch me and my buddy Michael on Collection Wars every Saturday at 7 p.m. where we talk about all of these franchises, not just Star Wars. So make sure you subscribe to that as well. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.